Screen Team Media. All right, so the movie is hysterical, and you can really feel that it's it's fans of the American Pie trilogy writing this movie. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, you know, John and I were huge fans of the first American Pie. We were in college when it came out, so we were the target audience for that movie. And now that we're in our early 30s and, you know, at an age in our life where we're, you know, sort of wondering, you know, what's happened to our friends, you know, since high school, it just seemed like the natural fit for us to, you know, take on the movie because it's like, you know, for us it's just like high-end fan fiction. But at the same time, new viewers can still connect to the movie, right? Well, you know, it was important to us to make a movie that, you know, fans of the original will absolutely love. There's a lot of touches in there for them. But we wanted it to be a film that's accessible for everybody. If you've never seen an American Pie film, then hopefully this is just a, a big, really funny comedy that you're just going to love. You'll get to know the characters right away uh, early on. And, you know, it's its own movie. But, uh, you know, for fans of the original, I think they'll get to uh, get a few extra treats. So how is it as writer, directors, and fans of the American Pie trilogy creating American Reunion to see all of the actors coming back together? Uh, it was a really surreal experience for us seeing actors like Eugene Levy and Jason Biggs in the same room together, or Sean William Scott and all the all the guys, you know, together again. Uh, and I know it was surreal for them too. I mean, for them, they hadn't seen each other as a group in almost ten years. Some of them, like even longer. So. I, I mean, for them, it was like we were crashing their reunion. Basically, it, yeah. it was really fun. I mean. For these people, a lot of them, it was the, it jump-started their careers. So they all have a real fondness for, for uh, the franchise, and they loved sort of coming back together. And we just got to be right there in the mix with it and, and figure out where these characters are today. It was, it was, it was incredible. Mm -hmm. Speaking about how well the franchise has endured and stuff, does it ever humble you about how well-revered this franchise is? Well, I think, you know, for us, you know, when it came to American Pie, it was always a movie that connected with, a, you know, people on a deeper level than just the comedy. You know, it wasn't just about the outrageous scenes in the movie. It also rang true, I think, to, you know, a generation of people, you know, who hadn't seen an R-rated youth comedy, you know. Um, when we were, you know, in, in college, there hadn't been, you know, a comedy like this since, like, you know, the Animal House Porky's days. And so it really, you know, um, was not only just a funny movie, but it kind of kick-started this whole trend of, you know, making movies for teenagers that aren't just PG-13, that are R-rated and willing to go for it. So being that this movie is really, it, it's quite raunchy and really fun, but it also has a lot of heart, you guys must connect to some of those characters. Which one of your, which one of the characters that you kind of created an extension of are your favorites? You know, I mean, Jim is, is classic. I mean, Jim is a lot of times the everyman who just, has a lot, a lot of bad luck with his situations, but you know, definitely connect with Jim. But you know, also connect with Finch and Kevin, and and uh, you know, I think it's funny because when I we're mean, writing it, we find a little bit of, of every character in our. I, I was gonna say even Oz. You know, like John and I. Now that we're making movies, you know, when we come back to our hometown, you know, even though we're not movie stars, you're still like you feel like you know. You're, you're sort of a celebrity in your hometown, and that's we, we wanted to you know sort of put that in the script. You know, Oz is the character now who's kind of gone on and had a little bit of fame and been on a you know reality show, and so you know for us it's just taking all these different experiences that you know we've had and that some of our friends have had, and you know just give it to all these different characters so the movie feels relatable and you know people like that. He's actually the Shermanator. That's, <laughs> oh, that's yeah. really good. Thank amazing. you. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> I've divorced and have a child named <laughs> Furlong. I like the name Furlong. It's, oh, it's a good one. Thank yeah. you so much, gentlemen. The movie was hilarious. Thank you.